Hi, Perry. Good evening. Yeah, good morning to you. Yeah. Hi, Manish. Good morning. Okay, so uh, I will just go with your introduction only, and uh, then we will proceed with the interview questions and their answers. This is what we are going to cover. Okay, so can you introduce yeah, yourself? Sure. Yeah. Yes. Uh, my name is Perry Sharma. Uh, I have a uh, seven years of experience as a DevOps engineer, and uh, I started my journey in 2018 with Airbnb. and currently i'm working in magna electronics as a cloud devops engineer um, my expertise is more into like linux bash and python scripting uh, i do containerization with docker orchestration of containers with kubernetes and then infrastructure automation with terraform configuration management with ansible and like so these are most of my skill set so yeah okay so i think you mentioned about the aws cloud correct you do have experience on the cloud side as well yes i have um, you know 20 plus native services on uh, aws cloud where i have worked on uh, ecs uh, you know eks lambda ec2 and like on networking side i have worked on vpc uh, route tables uh, subnets you know internet gateway nat gateway and then i have also experience with like s3 buckets uh, dynamo db uh, you know rds and also with sns sqs ses so yeah so these are my o- overall you know 20 plus uh, services okay i got it okay so we will start with the basic and uh, let's get into the ec2 first correct aws ec2 so okay. as we are going to talk about ec2 so basic question how will you differentiate your server is private or public one so differentiating public and private servers yes so if my server is in like private subnet so it is a private server if it is in public sub, uh, subnet then it is a public server how will Based you differentiate yeah how will you say that your subnet is private or public yeah so i will attach i think basically through uh, through the route table uh, right because i define like destination and target so if my destination and target i define for example if i uh, allow the inbound traffic from the internet then it is uh, of course it is like a public subnet and that's how i will know that okay this ec2 is a public subnet but uh, you know with another route table right which i attach to my subnet if it is a like when i define like a source and a target over there i will not define like internet for example 0.0.0.0, 0.0. we will not do that right and we will do our private uh, subnet for example cider blocks right mm-hmm. i will mention so yeah okay. that's how i will know okay so what is the meaning of this 0.0.0 what you mention in your route table yeah this means like open to public basically we signify this as an internet so yeah okay. ex- like exposed to an internet okay uh, when we talk about ec2 correct and if i have got uh, to do some kind of automation on my ec2 correct so just suppose that uh, whenever i launch any ec2 i have to do some uh, jenkins installation or python installation on the server and today i have worked on that ec2 and tomorrow once again i have to create ec2 and i have to rerun the same manual commands correct i do not want to do this stuff manually each and every time i just want to automate this kind of thing so that whenever my ec2 will cre- get created it will be having all those prerequisite done how can we do this kind of stuff got it so we want to install something or what kind of automation we want to do on ec2 so we just want to install whenever my ec2 will come up it will come up with like when you normally launch your ec2 instance and you want to run git commands you want to run python commands you will have to install those uh, those tools yes, on your manually server. like we manually. do ssh and i don't want to i don't, want to, to, I don't mm-hmm. want to run these commands manually on my server i want whenever it to okay. be become ready it will have each and everything installed got it so uh, the way how we do it we do it with uh, for example there is multiple ways we can do it for example user data right when we are launching for example in the console this is a more of a, like a manual approach for example let's say i go to a console in ec2 and i, I want to launch an ec2 okay the, okay yes. i got your answer i have yeah. launched a public server and mm-hmm. as you mentioned that one server will become public based on the internet gateway connectivity now i want mm-hmm. that i don't want to touch its route table that means i am not going to touch anything related to the internet gateway 
बट स्टिल आई वॉन्ट टू मेक माई सर्वर एज ए प्राइवेट वन हाउ कैन आई डू दिस सो ओके इट इज इन पब्लिक सबनेट और इट इज इन प्राइवेट सबनेट इट इन पब्लिक सबनेट इट्स इन पब्लिक सबनेट बट आई वॉन्ट टू सो या विल अटैच लाइक वी कैन डू टू थिंग्स ऑन सबनेट राइट आई विल हैव लाइक अ नेकल where i will i can have like a you know network access control list i can mention that this traffic I is allowed in the server this, i have to make this server itself as a private i okay. do not have to so can, uh, like uh, control the traffic got it got it so we can also attach the security group and from there we can uh, you know allow inbound or outbound with traffic. the help of security group once again you are trying to control the traffic that this uh, traffic coming from this particular source cannot uh, be accepted in the server correct right? like yes. whenever there is a public ec2 you can uh, fetch the whatever the application is running on that ec2 using the public ip address correct yes i don't i want that the public ip address of this ec2 should not be more it should not be more no uh, it should be no more with the server attached correct so i just want to remove this public ip address still like uh, even though this is attached to the sub public subnet only hmm one say i'm thinking how can i do it for example i have a public subnet ec2 and then i want to make it private or private i cannot control the traffic coming in coming out so how can i do it private private mm Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm. I'm what, not too sure. Yeah. No sure. What is ENI in uh, AWS? ENI. Yes. It's a network interface. Yeah, that's true. Elastic network interface. This is what we call. Yes. Yes. So whatever the IP addresses are assigned to your server, correct? Yes. There are some resources which is uh, responsible to assign IP address for your servers. private ip yes. address or uh, public ip address mm-hmm. actually these are controlled through the eni elastic network interface so if you remember whenever you launch public ec2 from aws console you select this auto assign public ip is enabled correct yes so, that's so correct. your eni will be having one public ip address if you want to disable okay. this public ip address you get into the eni which is attached to your server and you can disable okay. it from there correct that we yeah. can make it Got it, got it. I very nice. Okay, I was going, I, I was thinking about it, but I did not said because I know there is an instance where what we have done is we have created, I think, attached two NIs to one EC2 instance. I think multiple e, uh, EC2 okay, instance multiple. shared, yes, yeah, shared the correct. same ENI. But yes, correct, okay, correct, got it. Correct, That's correct. Right. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. So just suppose that I have this uh, S3 bucket, and within this S3 bucket, I have ten thousand number of objects. Correct. For one object i want to give uh, access to ferry just for one object and my bucket is private how can i assign temporary access to ferry for only 5 minutes to a particular object uh temporary access for s3 bucket mm. for a for a bucket objects not the complete bucket like just suppose that i have upload, uploaded 1000 number of mock interviews in my s3 bucket correct Yes, yes. Out of all these thousand videos, which is related to mock interview, I just want to give you the access of your uh, mock interview only. Correct. Mm-hmm. Bucket will be private so that no one can uh, outside, no one out from the outside can access my bucket. But you mm-hmm. can uh, just access your mock interview video. So that kind of temporary access I want to give you. so the way we do it is we attach basically the bucket policy but these are more like a internal access management which we do for example who can uh, you know access bucket who can access the objects uh, in the bucket or the files uh, in the bucket so we attach basically a bucket policy right there i will mention okay read you can only read this yeah, specific but, but you do not mention any time duration in the bucket policy correct right? you mention which role can that's assume which uh, yeah, that's what can i'm do. trying to think Okay. So, Are you aware about S3 CRS concept? Yes, cross origin resource course. Yes. Yeah, course. I have heard about it, but I haven't used it. Okay, no issue.